okay, making quick decisions and getting quick shots on net is going to be the best way for you to start scoring more goals. I would say the number one reason why players don't score goals is because they take too much time and they don't make quick decisions. <clears throat> Maybe they're nervous, which we talked about in a, in a video, is how to handle your nerves. Maybe you hesitate, which we talked about in another video, which we can talk about how to release and remove hesitation. But more than likely, you're probably just trying to make that perfect play, all right? You're not shooting because you think you can maybe get a little bit better shot, a little bit better angle. But shooting quick and shooting hard, you're gonna catch the goalies off guard, you're gonna catch the other team off guard, and that's what's gonna allow you to make more goals. You're not overthinking it, all right? Know your target, know where you wanna shoot, shoot quick and shoot hard. All right, part of that comes with being prepared, being ready to get the shot, being ready to receive the shot. The other part of that comes from training and game situations. So just knowing and going through all the drills that we've talked about with game situations and visualization and goal setting so that you know the situation that you want to be in and you're able to make that quick decision. And guess what? If you're thinking to yourself, hey, you know, I don't want to be a selfish player. You know, I want to look for my teammates. I maybe want to pass and be a playmaker too. That's fine. The player is making those quick decisions is gonna ultimately end up being the playmaker as well because players, the defenders are gonna to start to respect them and they're gonna to start to open up the ice around them. If you're starting to get four, five, six good quality scoring opportunities in a game, you're gonna be building confidence for yourself to be able to make those other plays and you're gonna be building you know, more respect from the defenders to be able to come attack you quickly and maybe have one or two guys coming to attack you because they know you're gonna shoot because you've already scored that game and that's when other players are gonna to start to open up. When you start to get into trouble is when you start to make that perfect play or that perfect perfect pass or that perfect shot right away and then your shots gets blocked or you get the puck poke checked away and then your team starts getting frustrated because you had a great scoring opportunity and you didn't capitalize and you didn't even get a shot on net and you start getting frustrated and you slam your stick on the ice and all that momentum goes the opposite direction instead of making a quick hard play maybe you score a goal maybe you get some good shoot scoring opportunities maybe you ring one off the post and all of a sudden you got a little bit of confidence to you okay you have that confidence and that ability that you know you're making quick decisions you're on your game and then those other plays start to open up maybe the fourth or fifth or sixth time you get that opportunity instead of firing it you see that guy open on the back door you hit him boom now you got a goal and an assist today all right so start with just making quick decisions quick plays and then once in a while when that opportunity is available you can make that pass you can make that play all right but being comfortable in knowing those situations and all the training that we're talking about is allowing you to make those quick decisions and those quick plays and this is the number one thing that's going to help you start to make and score more goals and make better plays and be a better playmaker is quick decisions, quick shots. Shoot hard, shoot quick, make quick plays.